question that I have to ask you is, I, I love your work. It's, Thank you. It's so interesting and I haven't Thanks. seen anything quite like it. <laughs> How did you come up with this style of painting? Well, I walk a lot and uh, we live in Franklin, Tennessee, so I uh, walk early in the morning before it gets hot and humid. Right. And, um, and you happen to see little animals wearing <laughs> flowers and, and you said, I'll paint them. <laughs> well, I got this idea popped in my head. That, and, and on my walks I get a lot of inspiration. Right. The idea popped in my head that if birds could build nests, they could make hats, it made sense. Right. <laughs> so, <laughs> so then that uh, springboarded a whole series where uh, birds are also making hats for animals because hooved animals can't do it, you know, right. they need help. <laughs> so, they need help, right. <laughs> so um, okay. they also started making masks and uh, necklaces sometimes. And wow! Yeah, it's been a fun series. So, how how many years would you say you've been into this style? Around 2008, 2009. And what were you doing like before that? Experimenting um, on canvas. When we moved to uh, Tennessee from Stony Brook, right? Um, I wanted to launch onto canvas. I was 49 at the time, and uh, I was tired of painting murals on ladders. Right, you, okay. You know, so I needed to make a switch and I wanted to pursue finer art. And it's and, worked out well for you, Oh, it, I really it? enjoy it. Because, uh, you know, what I understand is uh, uh, Oprah Winfrey decided, uh, she saw one of your plates. Oprah, you, yeah. Oprah has um, something called her favorite things. That she used to announce on her TV show, mm. but now in her magazine in November, October, November, I forget when it comes out. But she, her stylist, um, Adam Glassman, goes around to all the shows, the markets. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a New York market, Javits Center, the, the Atlanta market. Sure, sure. And um, he picks products, 500 products that he thinks she might like. And he puts them in a big room and she actually goes around and chooses what she would like ah. to uh, add to her. And she narrows it down okay. for her favorite things for that year. And okay. this was 2015. Wow. And she picked the appetizer plates that uh, Paper Products Design make, uh, licensing my art. Right, so now we're here at the Riboli Center mm -hmm. and you're having a, a show here and you'll be up for a few weeks, I would imagine, right? Um, I think the show goes to October 29th. Okay, now in, in addition to your beautiful artwork on the walls, some of those plates and the, and the mm -hmm. other things that you've licensed your images to are here in their gift for, shop. For, for a while. For yeah. a while. Yeah. And, and would you say that was a... Li licensing the work, I think, is interesting and it can be a, a, a wonderful, profitable thing. Yeah, and definitely. It's, and it's worked out well for you, right? I enjoy it and I enjoy the design meetings I have. There's a company I work with, Hester & Cook in Nashville, and uh, we have design meetings. I always bring them a cake or something. We have a lot of fun brainstorming ideas. It's, right. it's really fun. That's, you know, being an artist that works home alone, um, it's so nice to get together with people and brainstorm right. and so that's a cool part of it. They can get a little, the companies can get a little pushy like they want something for Christmas and when, when they do it's like, oh no. <laughs> you know? <laughs> you know? So, so, but uh, I try and come up with something that's very me and right. not screaming Holly and stuff. The work here, it has animals obviously. Mm -hmm animals that you seem to like painting yeah. and in fact behind you we have this one right mm -hmm. here this is an otter it's right? called pageant otter pageant otter and because she's ahead. ready for a pageant and um actually i worked from several images mm -hmm. so uh one of the images i was working from i sort of make a puzzle and put these pieces together things i like from images because I don't have a lot of otters in my backyard. Right. But, <laughs> right. So um, this one had uh, sort of pinkish nails. So I thought, well, I've got to take this a step further and have her look like she really is going to the pageant. Yeah. <laughs> but you tell me a little bit about the idea of painting on a darkened background. Yes. You seem to like doing that, and, and I was wondering why. First off, I like chocolate. Yeah. So I pick a, a dark, semi-sweet chocolate background, <laughs> okay. which is really burnt umber. I'll cover <laughs> my canvas with three coats to make it really nice. And then I, um, I don't even draw it. I take um, shades of white and sort of map in sort of ghost images. Mm -hmm. And I, you can get some form to yeah. that. And then on top of that, I come in with browns and you can see some of that underneath. That's so important. Um, I used to do faux finishes here in Stony Brook with Eva Glasser and Helen Del Gershio, mm -hmm. and they taught me about the colors underneath, 
I never learned it in college. Right. <laughs> but, uh, and then I build up those tones. And then after I build up those tones, um, I, I want to uh, add glazes to make the shadow to you know start forming his body. So if I go too far with it being too bright maybe, or I lose something, I can always go back and add more. Right. On darker tones to bring it back to where I lost. But what I think what I'm hearing from you is uh, that you like to have some of that dark show through. Yes. And it becomes part of the uh, the build up of the form. Yes. So yeah. so it's not just painting on top. Okay. It's many layers. So we see that you like chocolate. So that's in the picture. <laughs> you like animals. That's in the picture. Yes. What about the vegetables? I see a lot of vegetables. Vegetables are uh, so colorful and sculptural. Yeah. And I like to eat vegetables too. <laughs> but but to me, I could paint vegetables every day if I really? had to. Really? Yeah, I love it. How often do you paint? You paint every, every day. Really? I try not to paint on Sunday just to get a break. Huh. So. Yeah. And now uh, you have a connection with Joe, Joe Raboli. It was great. He was such a humble, quiet soul. And I took an um, outdoor class with him, a three-day class. Yeah. And I just learned so much watching him. He would paint with us yep. and uh, learn from watching him. Also, he talked about um, looking for the lightest lights and darkest darks in a painting and then thinking of those middle tones yeah. in between. Right. And I just wasn't thinking that way. You just sort of see this all in front of you and he helped me to really see that. And okay. I was looking through some of his images of his work today, uh, Lois sh showed me, and I saw, oh my gosh, look at that. You can see he was thinking about the lightest yeah. light and the darkest dark, and it was very helpful. And now of all of the paintings that you're showing here in the, in the center, do you have a favorite or two? Well, I, I, of course, well, I like the hair yep. with the uh, vegetables. Okay. And then also I like the ram. Uh, the ram is very ornery. I took that photograph when I was visiting our daughter, who at that time lived in Colorado. And he was in this farm. He wanted out. He was ornery. Mm -hmm. And um, mm -hmm. so I wanted to have him being frustrated. It's time for shearing. And everything's sort of Velcroing on to him. So, <laughs> <laughs> so that, that is my favorite. And, and That's all, the one with the blue sky, right? Yes. That's a little different. A little so, different. I, we're going to wrap this up. But where are you going next with your painting? Where do you, where do you okay. Go? After I looked at the paintings this morning, Joe, I guess, started... The Adirondack chair trend or something maybe I think so you know yeah. so I would like to do a life-size painting of maybe a turquoise Adirondack chair with a sheep sitting in it like <laughs> <laughs> and maybe a couple plovers on the uh, arm on the arm you know well thank you so much it yeah. was really nice to meet you and have you here thank you all right thank take you. care now. okay oh.